Hey guys. Guess who's Bazak? I finally moved and I don't like my new setup. My hair looks all crazy because I shaved my sides. I've been going for some months. But um yeah. We're doing this look today. I think I'm gonna do an update video if you guys care to know what I've been up to. Basically, I moved and I had to live with my I'll give you a quick update. I had to move in with my sister and um like i packed my makeup up and put it at my mom's house because i have a lot of makeup and my sister has a one bedroom apartment and i moved with her for a couple weeks it was supposed to be like two weeks but then it turned into five because my apartment wasn't ready and now i don't really like my new setup i'm gonna have to get new lighting or something because the natural light is all the way over there and i probably look like orange I hope I don't look orange. Yeah. So anyway, um, I'm gonna do this look. Very um, fall inspired eyes. I used um, some products from OCC, Makeup Forever, and Bare Minerals and Magnolia Makeup. So yeah, if you are interested in seeing how I achieved this look. Oh, and I got my septum pierced. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. Okay, guys. So for time's sake, I've already primed my eyes with, um, I filled in my, or I've done my bras. I primed my eyes with Urban, with Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. Mine is going, going away. And um, I added my brow highlight, which is just rice paper from Magnolia Makeup. Like this. And did I say rice paper? This is called double rice. See what happens when you don't do tutorials for months? Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to take Soft Brown from MAC and I'm just going to place this right beneath the um, brow color, brow highlight, double rice, blending it, um, blending that out. Next, I'm going to take my MAC 224 brush. You guys know this is my favorite blending brush and I'm going to take MAC, um, take MAC's brown script. And I'm just going to rock this right beneath um, soft brown. Next, I'm going to take this brush from Crown Brush, and this is the C139 Stiff Tapered Crease Brush. And I like it because it's smaller, and so it's really going to help us um, place the color where we need it to go. Um, I'm going to take OCC's um, Pigment in Rust. Um, it's really fine. There. <laughs> I don't even think you can see that. There we go. I'm going to take this and place this in the inner and outer corner of my eye and this stuff is sick and so you really just need a little bit and it's going to look crazy I'm going to tell you that now I've worn this look a couple times and the end result is gorgeous but this color makes it look kind of like almost sickly like your eyes are sickly before you add the other colors. So I'm just going to place them in the inner and outer corner of my eye. See? Flipping scary, right? 
quite fit. Now we're going to take the same brush, but I'm going to dust it off on a paper towel that I have here. I'm going to take um, 162 from Makeup Forever, and I'm going to place this over, not completely over, but just kind of where I place OCC Rust, but not dragging it as far in as I did with um, Rust. <clears throat> And because um, I want this to be really smoky, I'm really dragging or I really dragged it in the inner corner of my eye. Okay. Now, um, oh, and also I wanted to tell you, if you don't have this one from Makeup Forever, any like reddish brown will do and Foley from MAC is a good dupe. Next for the center of my lid, I'm going to use Beautiful Autumn and a bunch just fell out in the cap. Um, and this is from Bare Minerals. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous gold color. And I'm going to take, um, I think this is the E55. Yep, E55. Place this in the center of my lid. Okay, so I'm back and here are the eyes up close. And here is my entire face so of course I'm late <laughs> so I'll just hurry up and run through um, my lashes are just I don't know they come in a pack like this and they're called they're wispies or whatever but they look like they come in a package like this they look like what's on my flipping eyes <laughs> um, for my waterline I just use max black track this little thingy this little guy um, my cheeks, I used blunt for a contour, and I did it real heavy. And I feel like I look like I got punched in the cheek, but I really don't care. And then my um, blush is <sighs> copper tone. And then my highlight, I forget. Um, it's golden bronze, but it's not. I moved it, and I don't know where I moved it. So whatever. Um, my lips, I am wearing... Hodgepodge, honey love, give me that honey love, <laughs> I missed you guys, that's why I'm singing to you, don't give me your honey love though, honey love looks like this, I don't know, my lighting is probably all effed up because I'm in a new spot, and then I put this on top, which is this, this is liquid passion that's <laughs> right here so um yeah that's it as always i thank you guys for watching and subscribing if you have peace